One, two, three. We're probably huge in the, in the Philippines. Philippines. Let's do this, people. Yeah. From the coolest city in the world, the heart of downtown Las Vegas, we present the Downtown Podcast with your host, Mr. Dylan Jorgensen, Jillian Minter, Trey Taliaferri, and music by DJ Lenny Alfonso. Tonight's guest from Comedy in Action, Jeff Sibilico, the 2014 Downtown Podcast Awards, and our musical guest, the Rocky Brown Brand. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the man who has already broken his New Year's resolution, Mr. Trey Taliaferri. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. It's great, great crowd. <laughs> Great crowd. I did not bring right, those right. people. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. This is our 100th episode. Yeah! So much fun. So much fun. We've done 100 episodes. Five of them have been good. But we did 100, and it's a milestone that we want to celebrate with you today. But first of all, there's a very great day. Today is the first day of 2015. And who has already broken New Year's resolution? Yeah? Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. I did. I had a little. I had a couple of donuts today. Whatever. It's okay. Right on. It's okay. We'll start Monday. Um, do you have any? Do you do New Year's resolutions? No, I'm uh, kind of uh, uh, anti uh, New Year's resolution. Like uh, like you, hate Christmas. I don't like New Year's resolutions. That's right. I hate. I don't like Christmas stuff. Christmas is kind of boring. Um, it gets kind of get difficult. But you don't like to do any kind of New Year's resolutions. Well, this year I decided to do the opposite. You know. You do the opposite? Yeah. What do you mean by that? You just do? I'm going to eat as much as I can this year. OK, so you make a goal to do the opposite. Yes, yes. So that when you break your resolution, it's a good thing. Never be disappointed. Yeah, so it's like, uh, wear cool ties. Oh, well, thank you very much. Oh, thank yeah. You. yeah, okay, yeah there I appreciate yeah. that. This is a Jessica, Jessica Galindo. Oh, uh, oh so Leather we're Couture. Out. She's at the Container Park. Oh, Container yeah. Park. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, but how was New Year's yesterday? Did you work? Did you do anything yesterday? I didn't run into Jessica, but it was a good. It was a good. Oh, you didn't run yeah. into Jessica. Do you like Jessica? <laughs> she's she's adorable. Yeah. That's a New Year's resolution to not talk to Jessica. <laughs> then you can get it. All right, good. Yeah, yeah. What type? Uh, a New Year's that I had a couple of years ago. I want to talk about this. Um, we have. I was with my family a couple of years ago. We have this adorable little Shih Tzu that's crazy, and we heard her rummaging through something and going crazy and barking, and then we heard some other noises, and it, it was a bunch of coyotes. And we're like, why is there coyotes out there? And my little sister said, Trey, do something, do something. You have to save the dog. And I didn't know what to do. And I thought this was a time where I should be a man and save my shih tzu from a bunch of coyotes. And then I thought to myself, this is a perfect opportunity to use my samurai sword. So I run <laughs> upstairs and I grab my samurai sword that I had for emergencies only. And I'm trying to think, what am I going to do? Am I going to yell? Do I have to put on the, the pants that I got with the, with the sword? Um, and then uh, That's a lot. by that time, I thought to myself, I think the dog's dead. But then uh, I, looked, I went downstairs, and my sister was holding a dog. She said, I just turned the lights on, and they all ran away. I was like, oh, OK. But I had the samurai sword, and everything's good. It's a, I got the samurai sword from my grandfather. Um, when he passed away, we were going through some stuff, and I found it. And I decided that I was going to say that my grandfather passed down a samurai sword to me. And, um, and I was going to say, I'm going to pass it down to, to my grandson when I'm dying and say, this is a, a part of the family, and you have to honor it. But I'm going to have to come up with a whole bunch of fake stories so that it sounds so, you know, he's not going to know anything. Whatever. He's a little punk kid already. Um, yeah, so. Uh, so, um, so you saved, saved the Shih Tzu with your samurai sword? I didn't save it. I kind of just, I botched the save. The dog's OK, but I botched it. And I'm not a man. Anyways, uh, you know what's a lot of fun? What's that? Chubby kids dancing is a lot of fun. Chubby kids yeah, dancing? Yeah, there was a kid who just, uh, they filmed him dancing to a few songs. I will not be outdone by someone wearing the same pants as me. Oh, no. Hit it. Because you know I'm all about that bass, oh. about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, 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 bass. Great show for you guys tonight, our 100th episode. We have some special treats for you today. There's going to be a lot of fun. Let's stick around. We're going to go to commercial break. But first, let's give it up for DJ Lenny Love. 